looking for them, one for me. So I'm just saying, let me tell you one thing, okay, real quick. I'm in this room called Tom's Unboxing. He's like a YouTube micro star. He's like a YouTube asteroid with 2,000 subscribers. He's a pretty funny dude. I've never seen him. I don't know anything about him. There's a few characters in the room that are high-level characters, like... Uh, Ray is probably my favorite. Ray is a funny dude. I, I could play you a, 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 a poem he made, like a super dirty poem about other guys in the server. It's very, it's very funny. Um, but, the, like, I just instantly, the first time I came in here, some dude, like, that's not, that's a nice fucking ride. That's Jesus. I thought that was a Ferrari for a second. That had that same fucking, so, um, fuck up, this is too long already. I just got, like, I, I went into a room the other day, and I met a girl who I made seriously think about working for democracy for five years, and basically minimum wage that she could live on. Like, she, like, we talked about it for real. Not that it was just going to happen, but she literally listened and was, like, like thinking about the things I was saying after having said things that caused her to kind of be like, well, that, that, you know, sounds amazing. And it has to sound amazing. Of course, it also has to be amazing. You know, enough of it has to be amazing. It can't just dazzle. But, like, one, if I just go one person at a time and talk to them, right, a genuine person who has some reason to ask me a question or, or engage in a conversation, I can usually create an episode with them where some important part of democracy is explained, right? Not the whole thing, but some part of it where I can then categorize it and I can say to them, listen, we made an episode of a podcast. It's really unique. I will share it if with your permission, you know, and I would also say, you know, watch it once and I'll I'll try to watch it once if it was really good I certainly will um, and then you share it too as your own thing because we made it together and if you enjoyed it as much as I did or you thought it was a really unique positive conversation on the internet which doesn't happen that often then you know take responsibility for half of the, the, the message that we created in a natural conversation and give it a little chance for a few of the people that you care about who might be in our natural demographic to, to catch it you know to to see democracy through your perspective, their friend, right? Not through this random guy they don't know, but like, I'm John Washington, and, you know, I vouch for this message, and I think, you know, you should give it 60 seconds. You know, that that kind of stuff helps. We call Most them brand evangelists brand, in advertising. Brand brand evangelists. Brandalists? So you, can, you can pay people to be brand evangelists. Like, no, 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 not that. I'm saying this is how advertising. But they could shit. get stock. If somebody sh shares a video wanna, with them. Yeah, a, you obviously don't want to pay people for brand messages, and they're faking it. They're not really true believers. You want no, to but. An evangelist should be a true believer. Well, what do you do if you got somebody who says, literally, I can bring you the attention of 10 million people? I, like, give me 100 bucks. Like, he's like, I kind of like you, but I can't do this for free because I look like a sucker. Give me 100 bucks, and I'll blast this shit out. I'll record a specific video saying to all my fans, like, I, this is, this is some bomb shit. Like, if you're a, if you're a, a person who's into intelligence and creativity and vision and even risk taking and you're against injustice and oppression and fucking then take a look because this shit is real it is real uh i'm not a liar exposure is good but it doesn't guarantee attention no 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 of course I'm not saying, like when you when you can say like yeah, 10 million people are going to get blasted with something like yeah that's good exposure but if prince ea says yo listen to this guy don't watch my next video watch this video for right, me so saying, a yeah, million people are going to watch it says, and yeah, dudes like you know prince ea right the poet guy he writes some cool poetry like it's fine like pop yeah, no prince ea like let me just see what i get if i type he's a he, he can reach a lot of people and he's he's a skilled like a, poet like i mean poet huh like a modern poet yeah and he like makes videos with the poet i might even play something he's he's a good dude like youtube poet yeah, basically. I mean, tall, handsome, uh, black man. Um, he just cuts videos of him reading spoken word poetry. Well, oh yeah. Let me let me find. Um, for some reason, I'm not connecting. Should be quiet enough that you can actually. Yeah, he's. He, I mean, I'm not saying he's like. I would like to. I'd talk to Gary V too. Gary V, I think, would be hilarious. Like a guy who's got his whole thing that he's selling, but but bringing that perspective to something mad different. Like, the question is, will they or will they dignify it? Like, do you walk into a wolf's den or, or, or do you walk into mythology? Do you walk into a friendly space where someone really wants to get the best story out of you, not tear you down? Like, what's wrong with it? We'll have plenty of bug hunting. Like, that's watch, not, uh, I don't think that's the problem. Walter Carbon? Yeah. He did? Remember when, uh, when they're showing, like, the flashback times? Where like the when he's in when he's in his Asian dude form and he's learning how to be I forget what they call those people ghosts or assassins or ghost assassins or whatever the fuck they call them but they call them something 
and they say like how do they do what they do right like what's what they're, they're trying to learn their techniques and he starts explaining yeah one of the techniques they do is when you show up and this is one of those things that like made me feel like oh shit i might be i, I feel where they're coming from on this uh he said when you show up first your first task when you show up to a new place and you don't know anyone or you're on a job or it doesn't even matter is you got to build a squad find people around you that you trust you and that you can trust them and build a squad around you and then be selective about that squad before you do anything else uh, and I think that's kind of where you're at right now right like you want to be able to, like you said going to the lion's den the wolf's den so. but if you come in with a squad of people who already just one or two people it doesn't even be a squad it just seems to be like one or two people who already heard your shit already know that it's good then they then if you're interrupted because you've got someone else to speak up say no no give them a chance Right. Well, that's, that's the thing, maybe, maybe, and, and finding that's out who's really life. good at doing, like who's really good at standing up and speaking I mean, it to be someone and answering. Like, like, I don't think. I mean, maybe it does. Well, in certain, a, certain I mean, you can have a pure introvert inventor. That's fine. But I mean, also people who can stand at a podium, can can stand at a rally, can stand at a gathering and talk I to think people. Your standards are too high for that. I think you just no. Someone. There's there will be people out there who are who who can say more beautiful things about the thing that I invented than I can and. And I want them to, to rise above me, right? Like if I'm the seventh most effective speaker, fine, great, that's awesome. If I'm the thousandth most effective speaker, awesome. I want people to be able to say, listen, like to go in front of a camera or in front of their fen- friends, not to Jehovah's Witness, but like to, to do the secular, honest version of community, like, and which to me is democracy. It, it is the system that you use to organize yourselves. Well, I guess my part of my point is that you're when you're doing your recruiting and when you're doing your promoting they're kind of one and the same for you procruiting but uh, uh, i think they're two but very you, different things you're basically trying to sell yourself to others at both times and i don't think that's that's not a good way to recruit it's a decent way to promote uh, even though you shouldn't be promoting necessarily yourself or your ideas who you are should be basically irrelevant uh but yeah, when you're recruiting, you're looking for certain qualities in other people. That's all. You know, and then if you want to bring them in, well, you're not. You don't want to recruit if you don't have to, right? You want to publish and have people come to you, and then you then you look at how many people you have. Everyone's always recruiting, right? In some fashion. But but it's in different ways. Some of them are you actively do what you're doing. You're trying to tell a story, and that does the work of recruitment. But you're really just telling the story. And then everything from then happens yeah, when they when they reach out to you and they say, okay, I'm willing to play this game. Right. I'm willing to take this test. I'm willing to watch this video. I'm willing <laughs> to, go, to go deeper. We're naturally social creatures. So we're always <laughs> looking for our tribe, people of our tribe, people like us. Um, and also, on the other end of it, though, we're also very untrusting of other people in certain regards. Like, we're not willing to say, like, oh, you're one of me. We're, we're willing to say, you have to prove to me in some way. Or you will prove me. Like, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, maybe. I'll be generous in my interpretation of what you're saying. But, you know, it's sort of like, uh, yeah, there's that. That's the, that's the rift, you know, is that everyone wants to be a part of a tribe, part of a group. Whether they know it or not, because no man is an island. They may want some time to themselves. They may want... Yeah, but which like tribe? That. That's the thing. Like, which tribe? Choose your own tribe. You have to answer a lot of questions to figure out well, which people is, who are yeah, in. Yeah. So this but there's an infinite number of divisions of, of tribes. You're a good example of like a person struggling with the new change, the new landscape, right? Like, cause in the old world, struggling. The simple. Like, I'm trying to go to the new landscape. I'm trying to create the I mean. new landscape. That's exactly what I mean. I'm a landscape. I want to be the landscape thing. goat, dude. I want to be the greatest landscaper of all time. Right. We're saying the same thing, but my point is, is that it used to be in the old world that yeah, your tribe was, uh, you know, first those that you're you're shared with blood with, then it's those that are just geographically around you. You know, like they live in the same spot. So that's your tribe. But now, like, basically for the last hundred years, it's been changing since we've, you know, since the Industrial Revolution, where now we can travel all over the globe pretty cheaply. You know, we're a global global community. And now with the internet, it's whatever. So yeah, what does the tribe mean? The tribe mean anything. You could, you could be a member of a, of a cigarette smoking tribe. You know, so every single person out there in the world that smokes the same cigarettes as you, they're on the same tribe or whatever. Uh, weed smoking tribe, you know, technological freak, techno freak tribe. What's up, pup? Can we say hi? Yeah. 
What's up? Let's go. He's dying for a break. Yeah? <laughs> I guess, yeah, I had to carry him. <laughs> sit down and give him a break. Yeah, exactly. Are you doing a podcast? John? That's this dude. This is his all. This is his thing. He does oh, yeah. podcasts or episodes or videos or oh, whatever. Wow. I don't That's know. Awesome. Let he, he can explain it. I don't want you asking me to explain it. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you do, man. He doesn't want. Yeah, he doesn't he just want. He records no. everything he does all the time. That's cool. That's not what. That's not what he said. No? That's what she said. <laughs> oh, oh that's illness. what she said. <laughs> you got a mental illness and a tech addiction. Thanks. But maybe it's maybe it's producing good quality. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, Probably. Is. They're just tools. Yeah. They're not like beings. Yeah. What's up, being? <laughs> kiss, kiss. Hey. No. This is favorite thing. Oh, in here. So do you sport pop up parks? Uh, I actually, I'm just a dog walker. Not my dog, oh, that would so. be like against your business. No, you could actually do more. You could just get a dog, bring it over to the, the park, yeah, drop it off, drop it off. You know, yeah. tag somebody else so it's verified. And then, then you go get the other dog. You could just tra- you could be a dog taxi, it's like a exactly. foot dog taxi. It's You'd run full speed from house to house. You'd be in like. <laughs> and yeah, I'll just get like ten dogs and so, walk them. I really want, like, I've, I never do anything about this, but you know, like tensor barriers. I don't know, yeah. When you're in line, something like that, but taller, so we can stretch them between three trees at a time. Yeah, and then and then just throw the dogs in there. And just throw them in there. And, and then them out. and then the next and just move them day by day to yeah. the next three, so the pee doesn't add up. And then Bidwell has a fucking dog runs. Exactly. And then you're out of business. Oh. <laughs> you're like, this is works. my fucking <laughs> career. Okay. This is my career. That's okay. Yeah? Yeah. I've been You're caring. too fucking happy, dog. He it's is ridiculous. A happy boy. I don't know what we evolved you into, just little happy things. I know. Most of you, hopefully. I know. And the ones that aren't happy, it's mostly because of us. Right. I gotta get some dogs. My apartment is not no. dog friendly, no. But it's perfect for other things, so. <laughs> yeah. The kids are pissed. Yeah, they want a dog. Yeah, I'm t- I think I'm gonna make them into dog walkers. Like, yeah. to, they're like, she's ten, he's eight. There's plenty of like, dogs here. as long as I pull like a tracking device on them and yeah. the dogs. Yeah, basically. Or maybe just I think the best thing is to I'll give her a necklace, uh-huh. and then limit the walks to thirty minutes so she can just have a drone follower around, and okay. I can and I can watch. Yeah. And if anybody fucks with her, I can like fly the drone down and yeah. like just shoot a couple tranquilizers and be like, stay That's the fair. fuck away from my yeah. daughter. Like, yeah. I'm at home right now, exactly. but you get exactly. the fuck away. Yeah, they have that. So yeah, I'm a part of like a company and they do 30 minute walks. It's like Uber, but for dog right. walking. But then I'll like kind of ha- just go with people that don't want to go through the company anymore. So I get cut. Right. But yeah, they limit it. It's like 30, walk, 30 minute walks and at the end, your GPS is like signal or like the walk is sent. Right. I mean, maybe we could do. Maybe we could work with them, and and have this set up. Work with the village association. Maybe get a, a little startup at at the same time. And then we just get one electric van yeah. that drives around picking up the dogs. And literally, like you might be here. You know what I'm saying? You watch the park, yeah. or you want to, you know. So then you could bring like up to I don't know 50 of them. Oh, and then yeah. the electric truck just drives back and forth. House oh, pick up a dog, drop off the dog. Like That'd boom, be, boom, that's boom, a, boom, that's boom, boom. That's a business model for sure. <laughs> you gotta do it in conjunction with the city, though. Like you know, because yeah. we're a nonprofit. Do the people yeah. who work here with they're all women because this country has no founding mothers, right? In Everett, which is just women. That's funny. Um, oh, that's you know, like they earn they earn money. You know, yeah. they they play with the dogs. They keep you. They fluff the shit out of your dogs. They yeah. make them happy. They charge karma, all that shit. But it's a not for profit. We're not yeah. trying to like. I think it's easier to grow not for profits. Like most franchises that spread are for profits because yeah. oh, I got that extra money. I can go to a bank, and they're gonna like. But I think you can do it without because people see an example of something working, and and they might say, can we have that in our city? Yeah. And we'll say, yeah, and we're a non-profit, so it would behoove you to actually put some fucking money in it right now because yeah. we need lots of crowd sorcerers. Oh. Like, we can't, we That's can't. That's pretty interesting. Or, or you go to fucking, what they call, like, angel venture capitalists, but they're not fucking angels. Oh. Like, they should not be called angels because no. they're not. Yeah, I feel like it's much easier to make non-profits than, like, with this thing. Like, you just have to submit applications, right? And then 
I mean, it's not too hard. Or you can make it less complicated. Not dealing with the profits can help you. I mean, you can run a for-profit yeah. and not pay many taxes. You just don't make money. Oh, okay. Right? I mean, like, if you're not making money, you're not going to... I mean, you're paying sales tax on things you buy it and stuff, but you're not paying, like, corporate income taxes if you don't make... If you make sure that you don't earn, like, earn your money that way. And then, like, the less you... Like, if you can get initial capitalization when you move on, then you don't have to hand a bunch of, like, money to people... Like you, you'll be like, I'm happy that this exists in yeah. my city, right? I use it. I'm part of it. So I'm not trying to take money out of it. I right. want it to be strong. I want it to stay efficient. You know, I, yeah. I want to. I feel like people won't see that long term goal. Though. They will. Oh, well, they will. No, they'll, they'll they'll see it. They'll see crowdsourcing. Uh, will be will become what I call citizen sourcing, and we will yeah. see the wisdom of the crowdsourcers. We'll see something, some franchise. I don't know if it's like Fala philosophy, some insane little fast food franchise that is so efficient and so cheap that people actually see it and that like makes enough money that we say all right for the first year we're just telling stories yeah. like we're not even we're not growing we're making sure everybody in the world knows who the fuck we are yeah. they can see the three stores we have and then, and then we're going to build about a thousand at a time wow. or or we'll say listen yeah. you got one year to get enough money in your city and when we do start building mm -hmm. everyone will be a race Right, we'll all start on like April 3rd of next year oh, then, with the properties mm -hmm. acquired everywhere and we'll like build them all. Just like you only awesome. need a couple examples to make sure that everything works out, that your yeah. building is designed right, that it's efficient enough, that you have access to your like falafel and donut robot and etc. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, John. That's funny. Oh my god. It's supposed to be right, but it, it it's actually real too. Oh, some yeah, of it, no, some definitely. of it. Like when I say falafel philosophy, that's like a whole idea for like how we can make and sell really healthy falafel, like yeah. falafel that's had maybe 20% of the grease removed from it yeah. versus anybody else. Make it with no human hands involved at all. Make it fast, centrifuge it, put it in a tube, wow. and just fucking hand it to you. In a tube. In a tube, like, okay. yeah, in a, in a tube. And that tube is actually a scroll of paper uh -huh. containing like some poem or oh, something. Wow. Like when you take the caps off, it unwinds, oh, and then you okay. actually have a piece of art. So for like $5, you can get 10 balls of amazing food, one dip, and, and then you have philosophy for your wall at oh, home if you like it. Okay, falafel philosophy. Falafel philosophy, yeah. Oh, falafel philosophy, okay. It's mostly just walk up and drive by. Yeah. Like, that's really what it's about. But we're hoping to make them in domes so the inside is for phlo yeah. philosophization, right? The yeah. insides are supposed to be completely empty. There's people kind of like standing around talking to each other. Oftentimes they'll have virtual headsets on and they'll be like walking around like John Nash chickens. Wow. It's like you won't see what they're seeing, so you'll be like, they'll be, you'll be like, you see people like, they'll just miss. Yeah. And you know, it's like a virtual wow. world check like them. That's intense. Yeah, like I mean, if we can do amazing cheap food and like, and 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 add, add an amazing little gathering space, mm -hmm. you know, where all the people would have been working in a more inefficient system. That's I mean, I love people, but sometimes robots, you just need them. Like sometimes you yeah. need like a machine that's like this big that goes all the way around your restaurant to be yeah. able to ingest food from like the warehouse. Mm -hmm. and, process it and mix it and fry it and you're like ah, I don't want people touching this yeah, yeah. You know, you're putting gloves on anyways once you put gloves on you're just a fucking robot anyway basically <laughs> that's honestly it not really touching it exactly. and I don't want you touching my food no, no. I mean personally you could I'm sure if you made a salad yeah. you wash your hands out with eat salt, but that's yeah. it's still it's like it's much easier to just say you know no one physically touched it or anything didn't happen to it yeah I mean I know not everyone is as gross as I've been for the yeah. last many years yeah they're gross messy. enough. If they touch their phone once, they're fucked. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. I think I want to buy a phone that comes with like a dock, right? Like just like ultraviolet, uh -huh. maybe even soaks it in alcohol because it's waterproof. Yeah. Because the phones are gross. Yeah, they, they really are. They really are disgusting. I used to be a massive clean freak when I was a kid. Oh, yeah? I completely gave the fuck up on, on that. And then... I'll go back to it, but it's just like I had, I was focused on other things like the yeah. future and I like look around me and I'm like, every time I cleaned up, I was kind of like, why did I do that? Like, I'm not, I'm not using the space to do anything. I'm sitting yeah. at a desk anyway, so just fuck it. Like, yeah, exactly. let's actually focus and do something else instead of focusing your energy towards yeah. just doesn't, maintaining that space. It's because I live yeah. trashy doesn't mean I'm trashy. In fact, the more bougie you live, probably the more likely that you're actually trashy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That Rich, is true. white, and trashy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of that, right, Kimmy? Oh, okay. I've got a canary in the back. Come on, bud. I always wanted to put microphones on my dog. I, yeah, never, I, I never did it. 
Oh, they used to escape out from Clarence. They used to escape and run into this development where there were a bunch of rich people. Wow. And I kind of wanted to hear like what the moms that were home or whatever, like if they went to their house, what they said. Because oh. they know they probably know they were my dogs, and we lived on yeah. the adjacent property yeah, from so this they crazy. Just let them hang out there. And some of them would, because some of them like I would go rollerblading through their little division, and some of the moms would be like, "Oh, hey, they'd be so happy to yeah. see me with like five huskies." Oh wow! Other ladies would be like, oh, "What the heck?" <laughs> I'm like, what could you possibly really hate about yeah. rollerblading in a beautiful American subdivision with five puppies? Exactly. Like, that should make you happy. That's the dream. <laughs> That's like, yeah, it is. It's not That's a fence. A it's just. That's basically just a t let them drag you and you've got a dog sled. Yeah, it's like up but forward yeah. instead of it's up. Like, it's forward. Yeah, basically. I'm forward. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you guys have a great day. We will nice th you. thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you for your service. Oh, yeah. What? I don't need your commentary. It's not your episode. Dick. Tony Schwartz just did an AMA.